When we build Java applications and create instances of Java classes, we often use class constructors to inject objects that our class depends on. So let's assume that our user service implementation class depends on an utility class, which we use to generate public user ID. And let's assume that we need to use a class constructor to inject this utility class into our user service implementation. So how will we do it? We will need to create a constructor of this class and I'll do it on a new line. Here I have a public no arc constructor. And now I will use constructor base injection to inject utility class into my user service implementation like this. Now I will have to declare utilities and I will use this utils equals utils like this. And now because we have added one constructor that takes in an argument, we'll need to create a public no args constructor as well. So this is a usual way how we will do if we need to inject an utility class into our user service implementation. Now, um, to make this code compile, let's quickly create an utility class. I will create it in my root package. I'll go new class and let's actually put it into shared package like this. And that class is called utilities and click on finish. And this class will have one public method which will return string and I will call this method generate user ID. And this method will return, let's go to user service implementation and take the line that generates user ID. So this method will return a user ID. Now let's format this code. And now we have an utility class that generates public uh, alphanumeric random string of characters that we can use for user ID. Now I will switch back to user service implementation and I will import utility class and I will make use of this utility class now. So instead of this line that generates user ID, I will use utility class to generate user ID. Okay, now we have injected utility class into our user service implementation. But if we go to user controller and have a look at the user service class, we are using Spring AutoWired to automatically create an instance of user service implementation class and to AutoWire it to a user controller class. There is no place in this code that we create an instance of user service implementation manually, and there is no place in this code where we can pass a new instance of utility class into our user service implementation. So for Spring Framework to be able to AutoWire user service implementation class, and then be able to also automatically create an instance of utility class for us, and to automatically auto-wire it into our user service implementation, we will need to annotate the user service implementation constructor with auto-wire annotation as well. Like this, just like we did it in REST controller. Let me import the auto-wire annotation, save this. So in user controller, to auto-wire user service, we needed to use annotation auto-wired to make the Sprint framework to auto-wire the user service implementation into REST controller. The same way to auto-wire utility class inside of the user service implementation, we will need to annotate the constructor because we're using constructor based dependence injection. We'll need to use constructor with auto-wired so that Sprint framework can instantiate instances of those objects that are passed as method arguments into our constructor and then auto wire them into user service implementation. And for Spring Framework to be able to create an instance of utility class, we will need to annotate the utility class with add service annotation as well. Let me import add service, save this. And now when we have this service annotation, the Spring Framework when scanning classes in our packages, will create an instance of this utility class. And then when instantiating the user service implementation class, when it notices the auto wire, it will also be able to inject the utility class into our constructor.
and we did just the same with the user service implementation class our user service implementation class was annotated with add service annotation and because it was annotated with add service annotation we were able to auto wire our user service implementation into our rest controller so this is how it works let's now run this application let's actually put a breakpoint inside of the utility class generate user id method i'll put a breakpoint here and now I will run my application in the debug mode and see if this breakpoint triggers. Okay, my application has started. I will switch to Postman. And now I can send the request to create a new user. And my breakpoint triggered. I'll switch to debug perspective. Okay, and I'll scroll down. The very first breakpoint is inside of create user method. So I'll remove this breakpoint. I don't need it anymore and resume debugging. And the second breakpoint is inside of utility class, which confirms that our constructor based dependency injection is working. We know this because we did not create an instance of utility class ourselves. Let's resume debugging and look at the response in our postman and see if user ID was successfully generated. Here we go. So it worked. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you and you now know how to use constructor based dependency injection with Spring Framework to make it auto wire objects into your service classes.